Hello YouTube, my name is Tyler Wilson. Welcome to the first video on my channel. Today we're going to be doing a vlog. We're going to be doing the first vlog on my channel. I'm going to try to upload one of these probably about once a week. Uh, whenever I have anything uh, of value to discuss with you guys or to add to the community in any way. Um, we're going to talk about one thing today. The one main overlaying theme is going to be be kind to your fellow human beings, do the right thing, and do good by everybody. Um, today I'm going to be doing a couple of weird things. We're going to be just hanging out, making some breakfast, and then in the afternoon we're going to head over to my neighbor's house. Uh, they're away for the weekend, but they've told us we can use their pool. So me, my fiance, my mother-in-law, and my uncles, we're going to head over there, and we're going to have a good time in the pool. The first order of business for today, however, is having something to eat, something healthy. Today we're going to have some poached eggs, female bacon, or Canadian bacon for those of you not in Canada, and some whole wheat English muffins. Stay tuned, we'll chat, but first, we have to make some breakfast. Maybe I should be a little bit more clear. I'm talking more about being kind to people who are trying to help you, people who are in customer service, just nice people who walk up to you on the street, people who are doing things to help you, whether or not you see that. Look, my thought on this is that it costs you absolutely nothing to be nice to people. I had an experience this week. Let me tell you about that. I work at a car dealership and I had a customer come in who treated me like I was the absolute scum of the earth. He treated me like he was able to talk down to me and that he had no repercussions for his actions and that I wasn't a human being myself. Uh, he seemed to think that just because he was in an establishment and that he was a customer that he had the right to talk to me however he wanted to and you know what guys, as much as the customer is always right, that's not true. You can't just treat people however you want to treat them. The people who serve you are still human beings. We are still people with families, problems, emotions, things like that. You cannot just talk to people however you want. You can't just treat people however you see fit in that moment because you're angry about something or someone else. Look, we all have to be nice to each other, but this is why I want to talk about it, and we'll talk about this more with my fiance. Britt has just walked away from me because she doesn't like vlogging in public. She gets very awkward. She gets very awkward about this. This person. She really doesn't like it. This is what we're here for. What is going on right now? <laughs> She's so messed up. So this is why we're here. Last weekend I went swimming in my neighbor's pool and I open my eyes when I swim and I don't know what it is, she has a saltwater pool and it really, really messed up my eyes for like... Did mess up my eyes. For like a day and a half. I couldn't see hardly for the rest of the day. It was all blurry, it burned like crazy. We have a peacock now. This is way better than my swan. It's not as cool, mine has handles. Anyways. So I'm here to get swim goggles so that I can swim in our neighbor's pool more efficiently. Oh, 
We have found them. I've made a selection. These are $10. The Speedo ones are like 25 bucks, but I really don't swim all that often, so I don't want to spend that much money on them. What did you find? I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> On Mastercard. Uh, it's a Triangle Mastercard. Push it onto my eyes. They make the noise. Watch. Ew. See. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I just wanted to continue. Okay. So when that guy treated me like that earlier this week, it really struck a chord with me. Not and. It really struck a chord with me, just the fact that people nowadays, they don't even consider their fellow human being. They don't consider the fact that the person sitting across the counter from them or the person on the phone trying to help them or the person sitting next to them in the car or on the bus or on the plane, they're all human beings and they all have their own issues. They all have things that they're trying to get accomplished. We all have lives, we all have problems, but we don't need somebody else to compound those problems by being rude for no reason. I mean, all that had to happen was this guy had to come in, he had to tell me that, hey, look, this is what's going on with my car. Uh, this is, it's broken, can you please fix it? I would have told him, absolutely, let's get it done. And it would have gone very smoothly. Instead, it's turned into a big ordeal where my manager felt the need to pull me into his office after this guy left and tell me, hey, you know what? And, and I'm, by the way, very lucky that my current manager is how he is um, because he's amazing, you know, a very, very good people person. He pulled me aside and he said, you know what? I don't ever want to see you let somebody talk to you like that again. Um, that guy was more than rude enough for us to tell him he can take his business elsewhere. Uh, you never should let somebody talk to you like that again or degrade the fact that you're a person standing across the counter. Um, I mean, you, you've probably dealt with it too, right? I mean, at your work, you she does the same job as me, as I've mentioned before. We both deal with, with these kinds of people. We get it. Well, and my <laughs> boss's entire theory is there are so many bigger issues going on in the world. Like, there's people starving, there's pollution issues, and your, your little tiny issue that's not safety related doesn't need to ruin four other people's lives because you're in a bad mood. Like, there's so many bigger problems in the world. Yep. This isn't this isn't the end of the world. This is a first world problem. Yeah. And that and that's just it. I mean, at the end of the day, if if you sit down and think about it, the, the thing that was broken on this guy's car is that the blind spot monitoring wasn't working. While that can be considered a bit of a safety concern, I guess it's an option. It's, it's an something added feature. My car doesn't have it. Most cars, don't, Most have cars don't have this kind of thing. And it's it's something that, you know, if you sit down at the end of the year and you review your life, is this something you're really going to stress and remember? Well, is it worth having a miserable day? Yeah, and, and or making somebody else's day miserable. Yeah. Like, you don't know what's going on in somebody's life. Just be nice. You know, I'm, I mean, I we, am... We take a lot of abuse in, in our job. Yeah. Because we're the bearer of bad news. Yeah. And we don't want the abuse. <laughs> no, we, well, we, we, don't, we don't want the, the abuse, nor are we going to put up with it. I mean, there's a big revolution amongst management that I'm noticing, especially with younger managers, that customers, they don't get to talk to you that way. They don't get to treat you like you're a subclass human being. This is why I surround myself with people who take away from my issues, they help me with my issues, they work through my issues with me. Um, not only Britt, my fiance here, but I mean also our friends, uh, specifically our best friends, Jenny and Tyrone. These are, these are friends that are there for us no matter what. They don't make our lives more difficult. They make our lives easier. You know, we ask them to be the maid of honor and best man in our wedding because we know that if we need their help, they will be there. They'll make our lives easier. They will do whatever they can They're to help us. They're a ray of sunshine us. when we need them to be a ray of sunshine. And that's, and that's how people should be on a whole. We're all doing our thing. We're all on this planet trying to succeed, trying to get ahead, trying to do better for ourselves. There's no reason, there is literally no practical reason to get in the way of somebody else's success. It and takes no And you have no, no idea effort. what somebody else is going through. They, they may look happy on the surface, but you don't know what they're tackling in the background. And you adding little tiny things here and there is not helping. I go out of my way every day. I mean, I just started a job at this new, a new dealership. Every person I see, I smile at them. I don't know. You don't know. That smile might brighten their day. They might think you're weird because you're smiling at them, but that what that's the worst case scenario. I am literally the most chipper individual at work with it when it comes to my customers because I don't know who's on the other side of that counter and I don't uh, know what they're well, dealing with. Well, I don't even mean just with customers. I mean with my coworkers oh, as yeah. well. I just feed my coworkers. It keeps them happy. That's another route. You can just feed people. 
food yeah, makes everything food makes everything everything better so the bottom line for this whole i don't know what to call it rant or whatever we're talking about today is just to take the little steps to make sure that you're being a decent human being to other people if you're dealing with a customer service rep or if you're walking by a homeless person on the road take a second think about what it's like to be in their shoes and just smile or say hello or any small thing is all you need to do to somebody just don't be a jerk don't be rude or mean or for no reason especially um just don't ruin their day you don't know what somebody's going through you don't know what kind of crap they have on their plate and so just do what you can to make the world a little bit better every day and it will get better for everybody this is the end of this rant let's just enjoy the rest of the day we're gonna go next door to our neighbors soon we're gonna go swim in the pool we're gonna get some clips of me trying to dive and horribly failing at it We'll see you there. Alright guys, well thanks for coming with me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for listening to my rant. I really had to get that off my chest and I, and I really feel like we all just need to be a little bit nicer to each other. I mean, like I said, you don't really understand somebody's life. You don't walk a mile in their shoes. You don't get to do that uh, ever. So just be nice. Be nice to one another. Just do the nice things. Be the nice person that we are all capable of being and be the kindness that you want to see in the world. And uh, those are words to live by. Just do what you would want others to do for you. Just be nice. Um, this is meant to be preachy or political or religious, anything like that. It's just about being a good human being. So I hope you guys had some fun today. I know I did. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you liked this video, consider hitting subscribe. Uh, I will be putting out a video, hopefully at least one a week. This is obviously the first video on my channel, so I thank you for stopping by and spending the whole day with me. And uh, there should be more content like this coming out next week. Like I said, I will be aiming to do one video a week for now, maybe a little bit more in the future, seeing how this goes. I'm still learning how to, how to do editing and, and video and all that kind of thing. So uh, I appreciate you uh, coming along and uh, sticking with it with me. So um, thank you. And we'll see you next time.